Lord Jamar from Brand Nubian. Lord Jamar, that's my dude oh, right there. He, I think he keeps it realer. Than, than just <laughs> you, you've seen some of his interviews? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love Lord Jamar. Keep it 100. Hey, Always. Man, you know, let me tell you something. The fact, the fact that Grandmaster Cass, you know, has, you know, the, the Vlad TV has gotten onto his radar with my Lord Jamar interviews. I, I'm giving myself a little a little gold star right now. I'm telling you, man. You know what I mean? So, so you've seen the Lord Jamar stuff that we yeah. did. Yeah. So Jamar had a very, you know, he was a very opinionated guy. And uh, he raised a lot of eyebrows when he said that, you know, that white rappers are guests in the house of hip hop. Wow. Have you seen this interview, by the way? Um, no, I don't remember hearing him say that, but it sounds like him. You know, and he, he's not saying that they're not welcome in the house. No, but, but, but there are guests. Says, you know, the hip hop is a black art form and if you're a white rapper, you are a guest in the house of hip hop. And this has sparked a lot of back and forth with a lot of different black and white rappers. Uh -huh. You know, some who agree, some who disagree. And, you know, it's caused some, you know, Jamar to go back and, you know, address some of these people and so forth. You know, from the world's first rapper, <laughs> how do you feel about this statement? I think anybody that, that got involved into hip hop later on in the game are guests of hip hop and whoever existed it, whatever hip hop is or was when it started, that's what hip hop is. And if you decide to get down with it or become part of it later on, you're a guest. I don't care what color you are. White, black, orange, Latino, it doesn't matter. Latinos weren't involved in hip hop d directly that that much in the early days of hip hop. They weren't. One or two. Okay. One or two. Uh, my, my partner, Disco Wiz, my first DJ partner in hip hop, he used to beat up people in the street for telling them, why you hanging with them niggas? Why you hanging with Morenos? Well, he was, uh, well, he was what, uh, Puerto Rican? He was Puerto Rican, half Puerto Rican, half Cuban. Okay. And we were together every day, like brothers, you know what I mean? Dressed, everything, you know what I mean? And he would always catch flack from Puerto Ricans for being with me, you know what I mean? And he'd knock them the fuck out, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, so... So, you know, so when in like 78, 79, you know, the more Latinos started migrating toward hip hop, you know what I mean, start dancing as b-boys and stuff, they, they kind of changed the whole fabric of, of, of the break dancing thing um, as b-boys, but um, it was a gradual thing as far as Puerto Ricans getting involved into hip hop. Puerto Rico was playing congas and timbales in the park while we was playing <laughs> turntables. All right, so they are guests sure. in the hip hop. So, so would you say that Lord Jamar is a guest in the house of hip hop? Uh, is it because you got in later or because you're not black? Because he got in later, based on your definition. I would say that his, I mean, his um, lineage dictates he's he's in. His like lineage? you can't be a, like you. You didn't have to be a slave, but if your father was a slave, your grandparents were a slave. You come from slavery. You, you're a descendant of slavery. Jamal's a descendant of hip-hop. It's his natural birthright to be a part of this culture.